All right, hopefully you can see CAS 360, uh, yeah. oh, the, my slide up on your screen. Now, for those that haven't met me before or, or heard me speak before, my name is Warren. I'm the head of CAS 360 uh, at BGL. Um, I've also played a part on the MBR process. So um, a part of two committees around modernizing business registers and in particular director ID. Um, so the business advisory committee is much more around legislation um, and around the law and, and, and things like that. And then also the design working group, which is much more technical um, and around sort of technical solutions. So I've been part of those solutions to help build um, part of the director ID and MBR process. That moves me on now to CAS 360 and the director ID. So our focus has been on building features to help you, the registered agent, manage the director IDs for your clients. As Viola said, it's not exactly your requirement, but it's going to fall on you. You are already completing the work for these directors. The director ID, I believe, is going to be something that they are going to assume that you are helping them with. So what we wanted to do was build a number of features to help. So first of all, we wanted to allow you to notify all company directors about this director ID requirement, okay? Then we wanted to allow you to track who has and who has not got a director ID. We wanted for you to be able to send reminders for those director IDs that only have 28 days to, to complete the requirement. Ultimately, we wanted to position you as CAS 360 clients to deliver your clients with an ex a great experience around director ID. And what I'm most excited to announce is that we will be putting all of these features into your hands today. Let's have a look. So on CAS360, I'll just re refresh it. But what we have done is we will be releasing an update tonight and it adds a fourth alert to your company screen. The director ID, it doesn't omit any companies. Every company is required to complete the director ID requirements. And now you will have a fourth alert that will go through those requirements. What we will also have is an alert filter on the left-hand side. This is an automated filter that will keep you, keep you in track and on track with your director ID requirements. If a company through a new officer appointment or through a new company registration after the 1st of November has only, or director only has 28 days, that will appear with a red alert. If the director ID is required by November 22, you'll have the yellow alert. So I'm just here on the left-hand side. If that 28 day deadline has passed, it will fall into the overdue category. And hopefully where all the companies will end up is in the green complete category where you will have a completed status for those director IDs. So you'll have a beautiful automated filter on that left-hand side where you can see where every company is at, at the click of a button. Now let's have a look at the alert. So if I put my mouse over an alert, it will tell me that there is information regarding director IDs and I have three directors that do not have a director ID. So each company will have their own unique alert. And if I click on go to director ID, up will come my new director ID screen. So on this screen, it will list all of the current directors of this particular company. So we'll have a screen for each company and up will come a list of all of those current directors. Here, you'll have some key information before you get started. First and foremost, you'll be able to see the due date that the director ID is due by. So because these directors are existing directors, they'll all have to the 30th of November. You'll be able to see other key information, like if it particulars about the person, if I put my mouse over the information hover, I'll be able to see if that person is attached to any other directorships. Okay, so I can see that this person is attached to another set of companies. I can also see if that email address has been provided and if it's not provided, I'm able to click and add it. If I jump back out and go over to my other company, when I click on my director ID modal, the first thing you might notice is the blue bar across the top. And this is where you are able to notify all of those directors that don't have a director ID about their director ID requirements. For now, it is a per company feature. This, this has just gone live. We will potentially add more features going forward to uh, allow you to do this in bulk. But for now, it'll be a per company feature. My recommendation for you in the first month, really get this out to some of your partner uh, companies, some of your friendly clients, 
maybe 20, maybe 30 companies. It's not something that you should be sending <laughs> to all of your clients on the 1st of November. Uh, the urgency is not that high. What you're able to do is click on send now and up will come a brand new email template that we have added to CAS360 called introducing your director ID requirements. From here, you're able to customize the email, make the email yours, have your own fonts, your colors, your branding, exactly like every other email in CAS360. The email will be personalized, the merge field will personalize. The reason you see this is because we've got multiple directors receiving the email. We will also list all of the companies that that particular person is a director of. One thing that came across in a lot of the questions was what happens if I have a director that is attached to multiple companies and maybe with a slightly different name? Well, they're only going to be able to complete their identification process once. So if in some companies I have Warren Rendon and other companies I have Warren John Rendon, I can still only complete the director ID process once. I'm only ever going to get one director ID. So what we're saying here is get the director to complete that process and send the director ID back to you. Once, that, once you have that director ID, you'll be able to link it to all the different variations of that particular person. Obviously, we don't love variations. Variations of people's names and inconsistency is the enemy of efficiency. But if you do have that situation, um, they don't have to uh, complete their director ID requirements for every different variation of their name. In the email, we go through how they're able to get their director ID and some links to the ABRS process. At the end, we do uh, explain to the directors what they should do once they get their director ID. Now, there isn't any APIs available to us as software providers. If your client completes their director ID, they need to email it back to you. There's no way for CAS360 to be able to uh, reach that director ID number. It is a number that they are uh, essentially going to need to send to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that email off to my clients. So that email was now sent for the first company. If I now go to my second company alert and I click over, go to director ID, you'll notice because Shami and Warren were both directors of both companies, you'll notice that the email has now been sent. So what we're trying to do here is minimize you sending multiple emails to those directors. The system has identified that the email has already been sent. So it won't allow you to send the same email again. You can, of course, send a reminder. And certainly the reminder is there for those particular instances where um, the 28 day deadline is fast approaching. So if I click on send reminder to Shami, up will come my reminder email template, okay? The templates aren't too different, slightly different language, but this will be around a reminder and about acting a bit quicker to complete the director ID requirements. And as you can see, the companies there are listed. So I can click send. If you wanna have a look at the emails, I'll just bring one up, just so that you can have a look at this. Here is essentially what your clients will see if you are using the baseline director ID email template. So it goes through the director ID requirements. It obviously is personalized, as I mentioned, and it will list all of the companies that that particular person is a director of. And obviously it has links to the ABRS sites to uh, complete those director ID requirements. Of course, if you want to change the links, if you want to update them, we will uh, keep track of a baseline template that you can all use, but if you want to modify it, it is completely yours to modify. Speaking of modifying, if you wanted to do that, just go into settings in CAS360, email templates, and your new director ID email templates will appear on the left-hand side. Okay, so there you go. You'll be able to have a look at those, customize those. If green's not your go, you can change it to, uh, to your preferred color and font. So what happens when the director ID requirement is completed by your director? They have gone through, completed their director ID and emailed that through to you. What you're going to be able to do is go into the director ID alert, click on add director ID, hit save, and that will now update that director ID. It will update the card for this particular company. But if I go to my other company, because the directors are linked, it will automatically update 
the other companies that this particular person is involved in. Inside this particular contact, what we have done is we've added a new director ID field. So you'll see here ID, Australian director ID, and that has been added in there. So this will be attached to everywhere where that particular person is linked as a company uh, or any other link that they may have. If you have any questions, please put them through into the chat. But what we've got is obviously a beautiful alert uh, that will help uh, alert filter that will filter through where all of the work is at and a nice director ID screen to help you manage and communicate the requirements with your clients. I'll move back over to my slides and go through what is next. So beyond November 1st, there's going to still be more features coming to CAS 360. What I've just shown you will be released tonight and it will be in your hot little hands tomorrow and you'll be able to play with it. But going forward, there's going to be some official ABRS letters that will be issued to us. We don't have them yet, otherwise we would have put them in the product, but these will be uh, uh, issued to us and these will be attached to all of your annual reviews. So as part of your annual review pack, there will be a ABRS letter um, introducing director IDs. There will also be official ABRS letters added for new director appointments and new company incorporations. These will all form part of the default pack in CAS 360. We'll also implement new features for the changes in the director requirements, and in particular, the new requirement in April where the director ID will be required prior to making an appointment or a new company registration. Obviously, we can't build those features yet because the law is, uh, is slightly different. So you're going to see more of these features evolve and be added as we go and as the legislation evolves with time. So what I ask of you is to get started with the director ID features. Um, it's always hard building features for legislation that hasn't, it doesn't exist yet. So what we are doing is we've put these in your hand. Please provide us feedback uh, via the feedback button. That feedback button goes to everyone in the product team and a lot of other people in the company. If there are features that you want to see or, or features that you want evolved, let us know via the feedback. The whole CAS360 product has been built on your feedback. Um, so please send that through to us uh, and you will see that evolve in future updates. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.